Hello, hello, and welcome. It's Margaret Seconet, and uh, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be looking into the Flying Star Feng Shui update for the month of November 2021, uh, which starts on November 7th to the 6th of December, and it's the 10th month of the Metal Ox year. So let's get started. Now, in this month, we can see in this chart that uh, we have uh, two numbers in each of the nine grids in this uh, chart. Uh, you will find the big number indicating the annual star and the smaller number indicating the monthly star. Now, to find this direction in your home, uh, please use a reliable compass to determine your directions or locations. Uh, now, have a look at the chart. And uh, the sectors in yellow are basically the lucky sectors or the sectors that have the positive or auspicious uh, energies for this month. So try to spend more time in these uh, areas. Now, activating this uh, area would mean like using it and, uh, you know, um, having activities um, and being just being in the room would actually also um uh, activate the energy and you uh, benefit from the positive energy if the sector or the area is has positive energy and of course if it also has a negative energy you will also be um, affected by by those uh, negative energies as well now as you can see here the central sector is afflicted with the five yellow this month therefore affecting all households I mean, all houses and everyone in the house. Okay, so let's take a look at the center. <clears throat> so the center has the six annual star and the five uh, monthly star. So the bad luck or misfortune star flies into the center this month and it indicates uh, setbacks for everyone. The energies brought by this uh, star needs to be addressed. The center will still have the annual number six uh, energy along with the annual number uh, with the monthly number five during November. And to both enhance the annual star and weaken the monthly star, uh, I would introduce metal cures to balance the energy in the center. Now, placing metal cures in the center of the home uh, would suppress the unfortunate uh, energies affecting everyone this month. So. <clears throat> um, likewise, the metal cures will actually also uh, enhance the natural uh, positive energy of the annual number six star. The five yellow is an extremely unstable star, so it uh, has no gender and no trigam. So it's um, it's a uh, you know it's a uh, very uh, you know it's very malicious when you actually trigger it. So it can bring tragedy, sickness, lawsuit, and major loss of wealth. So avoidance together with metal cures can keep its negative influences at bay. And uh, you must also uh, avoid uh, using fire energy in this sector this month as well. Um, do not activate this area with loud noises and keep this area quiet and avoid doing any renovation work or you know, or doing any loud activities in this uh, uh, in this uh, particular uh, sector, which is the center of your home. Okay. Now let's go to the southeast sector, which has the number five annual <clears throat> star and the number four monthly star, which is the romance and study uh, and study or literally luck star. The annual number. Five is still present in this in this space, so therefore it is still necessary to avoid activating the negative energy. So no loud music, loud noises in this part of the home. Keep doors closed as much as possible, and you know do not bang the doors if you have a door here. Uh, make sure that uh, you know uh, it, it's it's uh, this area is kept uh, you know. Um, quiet not activated if you have another door of course it would be best to use another area or another door if you do have another door that you can use um, it will not be possible to capture the good luck brought about by the number four 
uh, romance or you know study luck if the number five yellow star here is not taken care of. So occupants of these uh, rooms can benefit and look forward to productive time ahead, uh, you know, um, by using this place. But the best thing to do is, uh, you know, uh, avoid activating the monthly star number four with any types of cures or enhancement as it will only weaken the metal we are using to weaken the annual star number five. Okay. Now the south sector this uh, uh, month has the number nine completion star or multiple multiplying star and uh, it also has the number one annual star so it kind of formed the sum of ten. So the Number nine, being in the South, brings uh, career luck, uh, success to occupants or to those who are actually using this uh, space as their office. The annual and monthly stars, uh, you know, um, combined, give uh, kind of double the, the good fortune uh, to those who are residing or using this part of the home. Now, due to the clash of elements in this sector, which is uh, fire and, uh, you know, and water, um, I would still advise against overactivating this, this, this sector as it can also cause some uh, personal frictions in a family. Um, and, uh, I mean, sometimes it can create some uh, health problems if you also have uh, poison arrows directed in this area. Uh, you know, uh, from the outside and also if you have them inside the home. Okay, so um, this is the South Sector for this month of November. Now let's go to the next sector, which is the Southwest Sector, which has the number three annual star and the number two monthly illness star coming into the Southwest this month. Now this affects uh, those who reside in this part of the whole house or anybody who has a room uh, basically in, in this part of the home. Now, you know, um, if that is the case, especially if you have a bedroom here, then you have to take extra care of your health. Um, the combination of this uh, number three and two stars also indicates a possibility of uh, a, con a conflict a serious conflict in uh, relationships. So um, the number two um, Earth star is a, the number two kun is an Earth star and a yin trigam. It affects the stomach. Um, it also affects the digestive system and can create the kind of general sickness and problems with the thought processing. So it also do this uh, area also affects the matriarch and is overall uh, very inauspicious. So we need to do uh, some um, cures and uh, avoidance uh, for this particular sector, this one. Otherwise, it can cause a few problems. So this is a uh, Southwest sector, if you remember, is also where the annual inf uh, affliction of the Sui Po is located. So in order to avoid the conflict of energies, please uh, we can use metal coloring as this will create a balance between the annual and monthly star. The best cures to use to weaken the monthly number two would be uh, round metal objects here. But uh, please avoid sharp and menacing looking uh, ones as well. Uh, I mean, yeah. So also please try to keep this area calm and quiet as much as possible. Now, uh, for those who are... Um, uh, for those ladies, if, you, if you're pregnant, and uh, you know, please uh, find another bedroom. If you do have a bedroom here, please find another bedroom that you could actually use. Okay, this is just temporarily for this month uh, because of the fact that the illness star is in this uh, particular sector. Okay, so let's uh, move on to the east portion of your home, which has the <clears throat> Uh, quarrelsome uh, number three flying into the east sector uh, has the annual number four, but uh, with the number three flying into this sector, it creates some sort of disharmony and conflict in, in, in relationships. 
and uh, you know in office settings uh, it may show up as uh, colleagues challenging your decision or you know you might have some problem with some relationship issues there you may encounter, encounter this type of situation at home as well so you can actually uh, subdue the negative energies of the number three by just using uh, red on lampshades, carpets, or rugs, um, you know. And uh, on your star, however, would get straight strength and with the additional wood energy from the number, st number three, again, which also, in a way, bring new indications of success. Okay, um, to fully benefit from this, uh, from the auspicious star, and also weaken the negative wood star, uh, I would uh, suggest to keep your annual enhancers in place as normal to enhance the number four star and also introduce cures to weaken the monthly star. Now, if you do have important rooms like an office, a main door, or uh, a study, and uh, you know, please uh, take care when you're uh, doing office uh, stuff especially signing documents, to actually be careful and to check them thoroughly, um, you know, because the fact that uh, the number three, um, you know, denotes a possibility of arguments, backstabbing and disagreement and can result in, in lawsuits as well. Okay, so please remember to keep this area quiet in November as we have the number three killings also located in the east part of your home for the year. Okay, now let's go to the west sector of your home. The west sector of your home has the number eight, the uh, prosperity or wealth star, but this month the number seven loss or violence star or robbery star, as they call it, uh, takes up residence in the west, flies into the west, so um, it has to be subdued. Uh, problems such as uh, finances and betrayals can, you know, uh, can happen. So office politics can also become a problem. And again, you know, sometimes you have to be careful with the people you're working with this month. Uh, good news is that you can suppress the unfortunate energies. Uh, you know, um, if, if you can suppress it, you can actually gain some sort of revenue to offset any of the uh, losses that might incur because of the number seven star. Now to both enhance and uh, weaken the monthly number seven star, we will uh, need to introduce some good quality earth cures for the annual number eight and also kind of uh, maybe watercolors to just weaken the monthly star. Now, you know, um, this is uh, the number seven is sort of uh, like a, a fighting star. So it is best if we keep it alone, we left it alone. And, uh, you know, um, and maybe it's also not a good area for um, people in the literary world or like artists, writers, and for kids to be using this place for your, uh, for your studies, okay? So let's get back uh, to the next sector of your home, which is the Northeast sector. Now the Northeast uh, sector enjoys uh, prosperity star number eight, which is further enhanced by the, uh, the annual star number nine. So when the number eight flies into you have the number nine, the multipl multiplying or the enhancing, you know, the star, uh, doubling the effect of the number eight. And, uh, you know, we can uh, actually look forward to a, a good balance of energy. And uh, this area will be a good area to plan for the future and uh, to activate uh, for money luck. Of course, uh, we can just simply use this area more often this month. Now, do not place any heavy metal in this area as it will weaken the good earth. And uh, we can actually introduce some fire colors here. And as this, this will actually uh, enhance the natural energy of the annual star number nine and also enhance the monthly star number eight. 
uh this is a good area for candles pop up you know for this month um you know we, you can expect uh, some sort of uh uh how do you call this uh improvement in relationship in wealth especially if you have an office here and even if you don't uh just by simply using this area uh you will have activated it and uh, when you activate it correctly it of course can bring good fortune and uh, exciting times even with uh, other types of conflicts that you have now whereas wealth is uh, predicted or forecast for this area you also have to be aware that uh, you have to take care of your well uh, of your health health is wealth that's what i would call so you have to be aware of overworking. I mean, do not, you know, stay up too late. Do not overwork. Do not get too exhausted, exhausted as it can cause health problems. Now, if that is the case, uh, you know, the, the additional work might bring good income, but uh, at, what, uh, at what price? So, you know, in the, if you start to get having, uh, start to have stress related uh, problems, then, you know, it, it's not going to be that great. What's the purpose, right? So, um, while everything is going smoothly or well, uh, you know, people residing in this uh, place or actually, you know, using this particular sector must also be mindful and respectful when you're dealing with your elders um you know you must at least give them some sort of uh, courtesy don't brush them aside and uh, you know um maybe be a little bit more tolerant you know and uh, tap on their immense wisdom you know because they do have uh, a lot of knowledge and experiences that they could share with us as well so if you do uh you know uh, <laughs> uh how do you call it if you uh you know if you do the opposite then uh who knows you might trigger some unfortunate series of events as well okay so just some sound advice and suggestion okay now let's get on to the next sector which is the north sector which has the number one white star flying into the north for this month and we do have the illness number two in this uh, particular sector um, even if the fact that the number one brings uh, luck and career success be we have to be mindful that uh, the number two uh, illness star is still in that uh, particular uh, energy is still in that particular sector so um, to fully benefit from the influence of the monthly number one this month, um, just make sure that you have your annual cures in place. And because if that's the case, it also can enhance the number one star. So uh, the, those who are using this sector must also continue to remember that. So suppress the annual illness, illness star here. <clears throat> and... Uh, uh, by using the the by leaving the metal cures in place for the year, and uh, you know we can actually introduce some more metal elements or metal objects to this area to further enhance the number one star. Okay, so um, when you introduce these metal uh, elements, you can uh, you actually um, enhance enhance and benefit the monthly number star number one's uh, good energy okay so avoid uh, how do you call it avoid uh, putting earth elements like quartz crystals in this area you know and uh, especially huge ones you know large quartz crystal please don't use that in this area now activating this area this month can bring in new opportunities maybe some gains in financial investments maybe some more academic achievements and perhaps some new uh, some for some of you seeking to have re romance or relationship uh you might be able to to get them as uh, the peach blossom is very good in this particular sector 
but uh, again please remember that we still have the angle number two located here and so we will need to keep this area quiet okay now for the next sector which is the northwest sector we do have the annual number seven in this sector but we have the heavenly star number six entering the northwest bringing the luck of mentors to those residing in this sector or using this particular area now the the combination of these stars actually creates to create strong competition in the workplace so we we have the two stars which are both of the metal element and this uh you know uh, this can create some sort of uh energy of uh, rivalry uh, and uh, you know um, probably in the workplace and it can be intense especially if the competition is uh, is earmarked to getting a big 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 promotion or a big 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 reward for it so extra effort of course will have to be uh, put forward to uh, to be successful so um, when we have two stars of the same element and in conflict with each other it is safer to avoid enhancing the auspicious star uh, if it is a monthly star so I would not recommend trying to enhance the monthly number six we can the annual number seven star with the appropriate annual cures and also using watercolors in the Northwest um, those of you um, with this particular, uh, you know, in this particular sector should avoid having confrontations this month. And uh, the fact that there's uh, excess metal energies here can indicate possibility of violence that can also lead to some sort of physical injury. Now, though, for those who have the main doors or offices in this uh, area, may enjoy some sort of business and career uh, success or luck. Uh, but if this uh, number six star is located in a bedroom, it can cause some problems with uh, physically with your throat or legs or uh, breathing, you know, especially for the eldest male. So if you do have a bedroom in this area, please place some blue black uh, gray or charcoal coloring cloth uh you know on on such as a a rug a carpet a duvet cover okay using these uh, particular colors to kind of help dissipate the negative energy okay of the uh, number seven okay so in summary as you can see here, um, the number five yellow uh, flies into the center, so everybody is affected in the household, and every house will of course have a center and will of course have the number five in the center, affecting every member or every occupants of the house. Now the southeast brings uh, some sort of exam and friendship and uh, romance luck. The east, center, and west uh, are not that great this month. And uh, for us, the northeast, the north, and the northwest sectors are actually not too bad. And, uh, you know, we can actually spend more time in these uh, areas and activate and, uh, you know, receive the benefits of these pos positive energies. Okay? So, um... Okay, so this is the Fine Star Feng Shui for the month of November of 2021. Um, I hope you guys have uh, uh, been able to uh, benefit and get some uh, tips from this uh, video. And if you, you know, find this, uh, find my, re my videos, um, you know, informative, and uh, if you know you've gained a, a bit of a, a bit of insight, so please uh, share this with your friends and families, and ask them to subscribe. Please subscribe too if you haven't actually done that uh, as yet. So I would like to thank you for joining me uh, today, 
And again, I hope to see you next time. So it's Margaret saying bye-bye for now.